Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel, called Tartaria and History Channel. Please check the description to know more about his channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Giant Footprint at Lapakshi, Andhra Pradesh, India Some legends say the footprint is of Lord Hanuman, and others say it is the footprint of Mother Sita. Giant Footprint Found in Lazovsky, Russia In every continent we can find these humongous footprints that belong to bring so large, it's hard to imagine them walking around today. Here we have pictures of Lord Hanuman's footprint in Sri Lanka. It is believed that when Hanuman leapt from India to Sri Lanka, he landed at this spot, and the force was so great that his footprint was left pressed into the solid stone. Giant footprint of Bhima, found at Bamana Hedge near Bangalore. Here we have markings that look similar in different parts of the world. From Russia, South America, and India. What are who made them? Some say giants made them, while others say they were done by machine. Some mainstream theorists believe it was done by birds pecking the stone over a long period of time, and they say we have wild theories. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Monument Valley, USA These tree stumps, I mean sandstone buttes, are located on the Utah-Arizona state line, near the Four Quarters area. The valley is a sacred area that lies within the territory of the Navajo Nation Reservation. What do you think? Arachbit Face Located deep in the secluded Peruvian Amazon, it is revered by the Harakba tribe of natives. A past long forgotten. The sleeping titan of Peru. Could this really have been a titan? Lake Superior, Wisconsin. Do we have another titan? Anyway, is this naturally formed, sculpted, or petrified? What do you think? The Stelfalit de la Roca is a town in the province of Girona, Catalonia, Spain. The basalt crag where the town is situated is over 50 meters, or 160 feet, higher of its surroundings, and almost a kilometer long. It was formed by the overlaying of two lava flows. The old part of the town is more than 1,000 years old and is made up of squares, narrow streets, and shady corners. Luna Fugate Stacy was the daughter of Levi Fugate and Mahala Ritchie. She married John C. Stacy, and they had 13 children. She lived a healthy life until her death at 84. Luna was known for being one of the Blue Fugates of Eastern Kentucky. She was an ancestor of Martin Fugate who came to Troublesome Creek around 1820 from France. The mainstream narrative for this is that these people had methemoglobinemia, which gives the skin a purple-blue color because of a missing enzyme. This causes headaches, shortness of breath, nausea, rapid heart rate, fatigue, lethargy and frequently passing out. However, none of these people ever suffered from any illness due to the disorder they had accepted by science. I personally think the past held many different types of beings. 
some just different in color, and some totally different in their genetic makeup altogether. What do you think? In July 1934, Xiao Sukin, a nine-year-old girl from Yingku City, was driving a carriage with her father. When the two came to Tianzhuang Terrace, they found that many people were forming a circle and discussing a dragon. The dragon's body was gray and white, his eyes were still moving, and there were two claws on his abdomen. The whole body was curled up on the ground, dying to outsiders. For two days straight there was torrential rain until it stopped and then accompanied by a strong wind, people smelled a rotten smell. Following the smell, someone found the carcass of a huge animal, but when all the people came to watch, the huge body had decayed to just bones. Before the decay, all witnesses had said it had scales and hue horns. Anyway, this is Crystal Mountain Egypt. We are told this is natural, and it just so happened to form into the shape of a dragon. What do you think? The dodo is one of the most famous flightless birds that became extinct shortly after it was discovered. The dodo bird went extinct just 175 years after its discovery. The dodo was discovered in Mauritius Island in the Indian Ocean. It was numerous on dry coastal areas and in the tropical forests of Mauritius, before sailors arrived on the island in 1598. People brought cats, dogs, pigs, and rats to the island, which together with sailors, hunted the dodo and ate its eggs, until they eliminated the last bird from the island. The last dodo was seen in the wild in 1662. It was declared officially extinct in 1681. The dodo was able to reach 3.3 feet in height and 47 pounds in weight. The first complete skeleton of the dodo was discovered in a cave of Mauritius in 2007. Based on the weight of this bird, researchers estimate that the average lifespan was 17 years for females and 21 years for males. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.